Viewers and subscribers, please subscribe to Saga News TV and give a like and share. A man was fatally shot and a firearm reported the seized during an early morning police raid in St. Elizabeth on Wednesday. Reports are that between 5 a.m. and 5.45 a.m., a team comprising of members of the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Investigation Branch, CTAC, and the St. Elizabeth Police conducted an operation in the Burn Savannah community of Lakova, targeting criminal suspects from Kingston who were believed to have been hiding out in the rural parish. During the operation, while bridging the main target premises, a man reportedly pointed a firearm at the bridge team and the law enforcer. A member of the team took defensive action and discharged his firearm, striking the suspect in the upper body. The suspect reportedly dropped a Smith & Wesson 40 pistol loaded with a magazine containing 840 cartridge. The gunman was transported to the Black River Hospital where he was pronounced dead. He is yet to be formally identified. In accordance with the protocol, the Independent Commissioner of Investigation in the comp was notified of the development by the police. No member of the police team were injured during the operation. A woman is dead and another narrowly escaped after they were robbed in Comfort District Clarendon on Sunday morning. The deceased has identified as Mary Smith Martin, otherwise known as Brownie, a 42 years old vendor of Sunday Bay, addressed in the parish. According to reports from the police, the woman, both vendors are traveling in a motor car along the Comfort Main Road selling household items and slippers. They were stopped by a man perpetrating the B customer who asked for an item. After exiting the vehicle to retrieve the request item, another man armed with a gun approached them. The armed man proceeded to rob them of cash and their cell phones. Smith Martin alleged pulled a machete to try and disarm her attackers. But she was shot dead. The other woman managed to escape unarmed. The gunman then got into the vendor's car and drove away while the other man reportedly ran in bushes. The police were alerted. The vendor's motor car was later found, abandoned at a section of Rimesbury Main Road. In the parish, investigation are continue. A 17 years old student of Gresham Avenue, Kingston 5, has been charged with robbery, with abrogation, and conspiracy to robbery, with abrogation, following his alleged involvement in robbery of a taxi operator in his community on August 5. Reports from the police are that about 3.30 a.m., the taxi operator received a request from a passenger to be picked up and transported from South Camp Road to Arthur Tree. On his arrival at the location, two females identified themselves as a caller and requested his help to put items in the trunk. While in the process of doing so, he was pulled upon allegedly by the teen and four men armed with handguns and machete. They proceeded to inflict multiple chap wounds on his body after which they robbed him of his motor car, cash and cell phone and other personal items. The man managed to escape further injuries and reported the matter to the police. He was assisted to the hospital where he was treated. The teen was taken to the station by his parent on November 2 and was positively recognized during an identification parade. He was subsequently charged on November 14. The court date has been finalized, the police said.